scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank Shalom. Shalom. Koinonia. Be to you when Messiah comes to take us home, may his praise be found in you. Shalom, shalom, the bride of Christ. alone and convict and shield that glory <laughs> shalom 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 coin on here His presence comes to change. Don't doubt what you're experiencing. But in His presence, already taking place in the spirit I sense a very strong healing anointing in this place I am the Lord your healer I sense my word and 
can it heal your disease? I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord. The Lord is healing sick bodies right now. That he led thee. I am the Lord. I'm your healer. I sent my word and it had it healed your disease. But welcome me. I tell you, the Holy Spirit is resting, is finding habitation. Father, have mercy and grace. Spirit takes over your soul. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul for he's the holy ghost spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings you're the holy Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. You're changing everything. And I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy I will see of the wonders of your work and I will forever sing your praise I will forever wonders of your word and I will forever see your praise thank you Jesus the way God has been interrupting our services through the week we are in strange seasons of the glory because God is opening portals 
God is opening scrolls showing us the mysteries of the kingdom Hallelujah Hallelujah I'm not just singing this is a sound from heaven Hallelujah Hallelujah May you hear this sound in your spirit Ale, 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 And I prophesied as I was commanded. Hallelujah. Please follow me instrumentally. I'm not singing. It's a chant in the spirit. Hallelujah. Ride upon the wings of this sound, O great one. See now, I shake na 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 na. See na 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 na. Ride upon the wings of this sound. Echo in your spirit, man. For when the shofar blows, it's a sign that the season has a dimension of God that the church has lost the meeting point between men and the presence of God Emmanuel and the church will see your holy face Emmanuel when you come Hallelujah You have won the victory Sikata baba kala bada da 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 Hallelujah you have won it all for me. Just that part, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory.
blessed rain above all, above all, your kingdom reign. you participate in the worship it's part of the teaching the presence of God is heavy and mighty in this place This is the part of the song that I like. of your presence oh God there is a strange wind physical wind physical wind that I see in the spirit and it's going to blow inside this place a real physical wind you will feel it start happening right now a real wind is the wind of the spirit a real physical wind physical wind blow oh great wind even as I've seen in the spirit a real physical wind. Changing. Transforming. I don't mind waiting. We're not in a hurry. I don't mind waiting. Don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Don't mind waiting. 
For who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth. Look, the Lord is doing something tonight. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead the earth to worship you. Who is there like you? Jesus, this is what this is all about, and we give you the glory. We thank you for your mighty presence. We thank you for the miracles, for the healing. Thank you because you're already changing the mindsets of people. Doing what mortal words cannot articulate. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural. About the name. Something happens when we call his name. Something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we submit to what you are doing. I will praise the Lamb. Of God who sits upon the throne. Sam, help me. I, I will worship him and give, and give a praise, praise to, to him, him alone. alone. He who was and is and needs to come, I will sing before, before his throne forever. And they bow down and they sing holy. Yes, we sing holy. And we, your sons and daughters, we praise you now and we cry holy. Yes, we cry. Holy. I will praise the Lamb. I will praise the Lamb of God, God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him. I will worship Him and give the praise to Him alone. He who was in the earth. Hallelujah. Before you strong forever and ever, you're holy, 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 yeah, and holy 
Everybody raise your voice and sing. Holy. There's no one like you, Lord. Holy. There's no one like you, Lord. Holy. None can compare to you. Separate and sanctify. What are your for the praise? And what are your glory, God? We will bow before you and raise your voice and say, She is so holy. Somebody worship him. We cry, Holy Lord. thank you we do not take for granted what you are doing thank you for your presence Lord if this is all you do with us tonight we are grateful there is only so much we know about the presence of God and its power to change the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us, O oh God, tonight. We're not ashamed to bask in your presence. This is the place of true power. This is the place where burdens are lifted. This is where you are separating men. Hallelujah. worship him your flesh may be weak but there is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit sing hallelujah 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 Despite to the Lord and say, I'm available. Lord, I'm available. Pray it. Turn it to, into a, a solemn prayer. You're with Him alone tonight. I know we are here corporately. I'm truly available. Even if this is your first time tonight. This is how to walk in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what happens to you when you are exposed to God's presence. Your flesh will start fighting you. Your mortal physical body we start finding excuses as to why you are tired. It's because something is happening. 
Many of us have not mastered the art of taming the flesh to stay in the presence of God. Once you raise a worship song, you suddenly begin to feel, I'm tired. I need to, I, I'm looking for something. It's not like you're really tired, brothers and sisters. No flesh can stand in his presence. When your flesh is compelled to submit to the influence of his presence, you will become a wonder. His power can flow through you. The energy, the ability of the spirit. You don't just need a transformation of the mind. You need a total alignment. An alignment. Where something happens to you, not just in your spirit, not just in your soul, but your physical body. Your physical body. When you bask in the glory of God, I'm telling you, it affects your physical body, your mortal body. Every fiber of your cell, every fiber of your blood, your body comes under the influence of that cardboard, that weight of his glory. That's what will melt every sickness. That's what will set people free. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Good evening and God bless you. If you can't sit down, if you cannot, the meeting is already on. I love to worship. And I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I I worship your holy name I love to worship I love to praise I bow before you Lifting you I You are being renewed. Listen to me, please. You are being changed. These seats are vacant. Can we have one or two people occupy these seats, please? Hallelujah. Please fill up every vacant seat. Just come quietly. Find a place and sit. God bless all of you standing. You may be standing now, but I assure you, a day will come you will sit. Yeah, the Bible says the word is able to give you an inheritance. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do it without me. Mali Paradashia. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, if you're changing cities in this season, please don't do it without me. That's always my prayer. Don't do it without me. Oh Lord, as you're leading people into your glory, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. See, listen. If you take seriously the things I'm teaching you, it will shock you what you will become. It's a programming. Listen to me. What you are receiving is a programming. It's making you become something. It's aligning you spiritually so that the reality of the kingdom can find expression through you. This is what God desires. Not just when you are standing on stage. Hallelujah. There is an alignment through the songs 
Even if you don't hear anything, the atmosphere does something to you. There is a change. The presence of God. This is the factor that you need in your life, brothers and sisters. Power is not enough to change people. There is, there is a way you can align to the Holy Ghost. That you become a living wonder. Your physical, mortal body carries heaven. Hallelujah. And that everywhere you go, you become an envoy. I did a teaching, envoys of his presence. You don't have all the time to start teaching people sermons, brothers and sisters. There are times you will need to let the presence alone speak. Oh, 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 has become our passion in this place it pays to walk with God it pays God is speaking to someone here tonight you need to win the war in your heart and give up the flesh hallelujah praise the Lord I'm going to make an altar call right now hallelujah there are people who have been fighting to submit totally to the spirit. And he's giving the devil access to destroy your life. You know what I'm talking about. There are so many of you outside. There are many of us inside. Hallelujah. This is what is keeping many of us in bondages. This is what gives the devil legal access tonight. Tonight. I'm going to make an altar call right now, even before I continue. Don't mind what I'm doing. Let me just do my stupid thing on the stage. This is the Holy Ghost doing what he's doing. This is koinonia. Hallelujah. There are people who need to win this war tonight. The struggle is over. You, you can't keep fighting with destiny forever. You may be sitting and people may be looking at you, but we're struggling. There is this war between Cain and Abel. The spirit and the flesh. Hallelujah. As I count three, I want those people to get up, jump up on your feet and come out here right now. One. Lord, if you're healing people in this season, don't do without me. Don't do it without me. Please, if you are not sure why you are here, go back to your seat and think again. Please, we are not, we are not playing games. We are really... Look at me. Hold on. Praise God. I, I appreciate your sincerity, but we are not playing games. If you are coming out here, you are really telling the Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. Win this war tonight. I make up my mind for real. Hallelujah. Just come, there's still some space. I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. Lord, I will bow to you. Listen, Jesus said something. He said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything. Satan cometh to me. Many of us, it's not that we don't love God. This has been my message. He is not a priority. There are so many things we believe that deserve our time and our attention. 
because we live in a society that convinces us that spirituality makes us failure who can compare to you great is the measure of your royalty oh morning star you truly are everything. Listen, look at me, those of you coming out. You can win this war tonight and say, Lord, take over my life. Take over. I don't care who is watching me. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this fake life. There are many of you who are supposed to join them. You are sitting, smiling, and the Holy Ghost is talking to you. And saying this is serious business. Join them quickly. There are many of you outside. Lord, you are everything to me. Is my treasure, my priority. Who can compare? to him nobody great is the measure of his royalty oh morning star you truly are listen if that Isaac in your life that makes God of less value does not leave you. You will never experience the power of God. Take it from me. Don't let anybody fool you. I've told you there are some things in the kingdom that are not gifts. They are rewards for serious people. It's part of the justice system of heaven. For many of us, it's boyfriend and girlfriend that won't let us get serious with God. For many of us, it's money. Ah, you want money. For many of us, we are just careless and vulnerable. And it may not be your fault. We came from backgrounds where priority to the things of God is seen as being strange. But let me tell you something. When you come for koinonia, what you see is a new culture. You don't see Yoruba culture here or Hausa culture or Igbo culture or, or another culture, South-South culture. We divorce those things to pick the excellency of the culture of the kingdom. And in a kingdom, there is no democracy. The entire citizens look up to the king and his agenda. Many of you believe in God. Tonight, will you submit to his government? This is the true place of power. Take me to the place. The place, the place you, you are. It's the secret place. That's where I want to be. I tell you, you will command power and authority when you stand in that realm. The place you are. The secret place. Those of you standing, can you sing it with me? Take me to the place. Come on. Take me to the place. The place you are. The place you are. The secret place. That's where I wanna be. That's where I wanna be. There are many of you that need to take your phone, look at me, and send polite but serious text messages to certain people and say, I've been playing with the issue of God being my priority, but right now, Mr. Man, I mean business. See, let me tell you, if you are ashamed of this, I can guarantee you, brothers, and many of our parents were ashamed of this decision and they are paying for it bitterly. They went to school, but they are still paying. The remedy 
from the tragedy that comes with this system, this fallen system, is to walk in the spirit. Lift your hands, those of you in front, and cry your heart to God. Those of us seated, join them. In one minute, say, Lord, I take you seriously from today. Pray. Take away every Isaac, oh God, that will not stop me from being serious. Some of you are ashamed of the mockery that comes with carrying the cross. Man, tata, kapa, ladabagai. Pray. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Those of you standing cry. Come on. This is between you and God. This is your koinonia tonight. Lord I know you desire to use me. But what is this weight? It says seeing then. That we are surrounded. By so great. A cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight, every weight, every weight, every weight. Take it, oh God. Take it, whatever it is, and mean it from your heart. Ladies, pray. Lord, take it away. Katabalekataya. So that I can rise to a realm higher than what I have seen. So that I will command the authority of the kingdom. So that I will be trusted with the mysteries of the kingdom. The Bible says the secrets of the Lord are not with them that are born again. With them that fear him. Them that fear him. He will show them his covenants. Let your Christianity last. Let your Christianity last. No mood swings with God. Kill it tonight. No mood swings with God. I love you whether there's money or not. I love you whether there's job or not. Come on, pray. I love you whether there's marriage or not. Children or not. Academics or not. Carryover or not. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly than gold. Sing it with me. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. There is nothing. hallelujah our time is fast spent if this is all we do tonight no problem i wanted to teach something about the mysteries of the kingdom one of the mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of having more in the kingdom you have more by losing what you have are you hearing what i'm saying it's a strange mystery it says whosoever loves his life will lose it but whosoever loses it you want power, lose the strength you have in yourself and you will get a higher one. You want wisdom, lose the one you have. Break it like an alabaster box and pour it on his feet and say, Lord, take the intellect. I know I went to school, but I can roll on the floor for the excellency of another. You must lose what you currently have. Otherwise, you will never get it. A higher dimension. I pray for you. Say after me, those of you standing, Lord Jesus, I mean business with you. Many of you, as you are praying, the power of the Holy Ghost will come strong upon you because this is what the Holy Ghost has been waiting for. He's been seeking you for a long time. Hallelujah. I mean business with you. I make up my mind tonight that you are my priority. I not only believe in Jesus, I submit to the government of heaven. Every Isaac in my life 
that stops me from rising higher I give it tonight in the name of Jesus father I pray for these ones in the name of Jesus they have come because they mean business with you transform them some of them are men of God some of them are women of God some of them are great leaders some of them have seen your hand in a measure I pray in the name that is above all names help them in the name of Jesus may grace to lose what you have be given to you that you will get something higher that nothing in this earth can compare with it I break every ungodly association look at me and I announce this to everybody hear me inside and outside you are not truly born again if your association does not change I'm going to repeat it you are not truly born again if your association especially the association that kept you in sin there's no such thing that I'm born again and my best friend is still that person I will change him uh -uh. when it was time for Moses to be changed he left Egypt and went and stayed with God was trained when he had that stature God sent him back to Egypt as a deliverer you don't stay in Egypt and get transformed hallelujah there are many of us you have three or four people your friends they drag a lady and they are coming to sleep with her and you are there you are a christian but you don't you don't like it but there's nothing that can be done about it and then you are in the room there you are watching you didn't sleep with the lady but a seed has been sown in your life you are going to go and pray and you are thinking of all kinds of things your spiritual stability has been distorted and it will take a long time for you to get back your footing but I pray for you tonight the hand of the almighty is upon you you will leave this place transformed please go back to your seat give me 15 minutes or so and we'll be and then things now God has been interrupting what we are doing in this place the message I preached last week was not even the message that I plan to preach this week again and every time you see God stepping in like that is because we're entering seasons I told us about the seasons of greatness like Noah I will keep announcing it until we step into the reality of it Noah kept saying something kept saying something and this is not just empty confession hallelujah grant us grace oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ can we just look at something small We're talking about the mysteries of the kingdom um, for time's sake our time is already gone I will just pick something really just an aspect of what I want to share um, and then we'll just pray I want to teach us tonight how to enforce the kingdom in our lives how to enforce the kingdom Matthew 6. Ah, Jesus inspires me. Goodness. I began to read this, the parables of Jesus. And I mean, those parables were just hitting me like arrows with mysteries. Hallelujah. If you're ever caught up 
to heaven or the realm of the spirit and you ever see God or angels, the proof that you truly saw God or anything divine is that you will return with more questions than the answers you got. You will come back with a lot of information. But you will come back so confused. Your dependence in the Holy Spirit will increase as a matter of life and death. Because of the mysteries. Brothers and sisters, this kingdom is a kingdom of mysteries. I shared with us already that a mystery is a secret truth. A mystery is a hidden truth. Hidden truth. Hidden truth. There are some mysteries that we have to really look at. We may not, we can't touch all of them. That's to say we are reading, we are exploring the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But there are a few mysteries we have to touch. One of it is enforcing the kingdom. Maybe next week we'll discuss the mystery of marriage. Not relationship and family talk at all. The mystery of marriage. The Bible calls it a great mystery. Ephesians. That means no unbeliever can truly understand marriage. It's not about age. Anything that is a mystery is only given to the sons of the kingdom to understand. Hmm. He said it is given unto you to know the mysteries. So men can see, the Bible says, so that they seeing, they may not see, they can understand. Hearing, but they will not get it. But there is a mystery. When you understand this, you must be a good husband. The mystery of marriage. When you understand it, you must be a good wife. Whether you pick a wife from Borno and a husband from Niger Delta, no problem. A great mystery. Paul, there were few things in the Bible that Paul called a great mystery. He said, behold, I show you a mystery. And I told us last week that there are certain people by the election of grace, they are called stewards of the mysteries of God. Stewards, stewards, custodians, caretakers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Enforcing the kingdom. What is the kingdom? The influence of the king. What is the kingdom? The summation of the value system, the ideologies of the king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, I may have to rush. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Enforcing the kingdom talks about reproducing the reality of the king's culture. The king's culture. That's the best way to put it. A culture is the way of life of a people. Their way of operation. Reproducing the king's atmosphere. Reproducing the king's result. Forcing his decrees to work here and now in your life. There are principles. It's a mystery. Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray. And he said something. Verse 6. Or let's start from verse, um, chapter 6 verse 9. After this manner therefore pray ye. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Verse 10 says what? Okay, it says, Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Three powerful words that sum up the desires of God for men in this system. Your kingdom. Replace that word kingdom with three words, please. You may not, if you can do it, wonderful. Number one, your culture. Number two, your principles. Number three, your influence. Culture, principle, influence. Please, all of us, listen. These teachings will make us kingdom people. This is Jesus telling the people that this is the Father's desire. Because he said, that I do nothing of my own as I see my Father. Your, what's the first word now? So, let's read it. Just in your mind, just put culture there. Are you ready? One, to read. Your culture. Lord, let your culture. 
that way of life that makes heaven heaven i want it to come that way of life the culture of heaven let it come number two the principles of heaven that means the formula by which heaven runs its activities let it be transported to this realm here and now please follow me number three your influence what is your influence the jurisdiction of your control the jurisdiction of your control let it find expression this is jesus praying this prayer was not just something that they are supposed to be praying and reciting every day our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name this and that and that and that. All those things are just games jesus was saying something very serious the bible says the spirit searches the mind of god and in searching the mind of god he said your culture your principles your influence let it come you see why we sing songs like your kingdom reign are you following me now enforcing the kingdom what does it mean to enforce the kingdom it means to align yourself so that this prayer becomes answered in your life and across your territory enforcing the culture enforcing the kingdom hallelujah now this is very very important let me have somebody one lady benga come one lady can come anybody where are you from sir you are from kogi state stand here where are you from enugu thank you one yoruba person yoruba oh yeah one house person real house or not katsina and or any of these people. oh yeah now people want to embarrass your people now now watch this you are from where oga katsina real katsina you are from ondo kogi state watch this these people represent different territories everybody say territory you must understand this i want to be very simple i'm out of time i know you you may not remember what i'm saying but you remember what i'm acting here are you getting my point this lady is from the east accustomed to the life and the culture of the east where the culture came from is not the issue is that is there now is that true are you following what i'm saying now uh -huh. this guy listen is from kogi state and there is a way there is a culture there is a life is that true this lady is a yoruba lady are you following me now there is a culture for instance if her mother were to come here you know how she's going to greet her right is that true this gentleman is from the north he and his father can go if assuming he were not a believer for instance he and his father can go to the same mat and pray and that's not disrespect in fact it's a sign of loyalty and commitment whereas in other cultures when men are sitting down women don't even come there are you getting what i'm saying so jesus looks at these people with their different cultures and he says when you pray if you must become true citizens of the kingdom pray that your kingdom overshadow what has been existing that has tilted the minds of the people to behave in a way that closes the spirit from finding expression are you getting the prayer now and so he said for that to happen you must pray that your kingdom that means when you get born again as an evil lady you don't come and negotiate with god and say lord remember i'm Igbo. i gave you my heart as Igbo. so all through our walk where Igbo clashes with the kingdom you will shift for me and let's continue moving are you getting my point now the katsina person says look lord the way we do our things we are very very diplomatic about it don't bring any kingdom thing now what many believers want is that we take a culture right come into the kingdom when we come into the kingdom we now begin to enforce our culture 
please are you understanding what i'm saying we now begin to enforce our culture now not every aspect of culture is wrong i hope you know that but there are dangerous and devilish aspects of culture and this culture was carved out by babylon this mystery that births and spews iniquity upon the face of the earth so that when you keep practicing certain things it permits the gates of hell to perpetually keep working in your life are you listening to me now so although you are born again there are still ordinances that are holding you back and because you are not ready to subscribe you are a believer but you are not ready to bend and subscribe to a higher kingdom are you getting my point now but when you come into christ you die and let me tell you the revelation of that death to die means you cease to honor everything you honored before him that's the way of the cross are you getting my point now and when you come out from the other end you are naked the holy ghost is supposed to now begin to introduce you to a new culture supervised by the king himself not the traditional ruler in your village. That's why he himself is called the king. Many people know the savior, but they have not met the king. And let me tell you, you will never walk as an ambassador in the kingdom until you encounter the king. Because ambassadors are the envoys that represent the ideologies of the king. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? So, I come in with my culture. I even become a pastor with this culture and we carry all kinds of ideologies as we study scripture culture and the principles we have practiced now become the lens from which we judge and interpret scripture are you getting what i'm saying so it corrupts the authenticity of what the spirit is about to do that is the reason why when in egypt when they came out of egypt that's i told you power is not enough to change people they saw miracles but the moment the going got tough they said remember that calf that pharaoh used to build now that helped them during one war aaron come and help us let's help ourselves here this maybe moses is dead somewhere god has killed him you see that because they came out and they still brought egypt with them so when the going went tough what happened they negotiated with Egypt. It was not an Egyptian that built that calf, brothers and sisters. The same people, God's own Israel. This is how many of us are. We come out of the kingdom, but we have not left these things. This revelation, thy kingdom come, has not found expression in our lives. But when you come into the school of the spirit, the Lord now says, there is neither male nor female. There is neither Jew nor Gentile. What is the revelation of that? He's introducing you to a new kingdom that is not dependent on your gender. A new kingdom that is not dependent on your prior ideology. Swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the mysteries of eternal life it's a little here a little dear and soon your day will dawn it's changing everything in obedience to christ when jesus was walking the bible talks about a centurion a captain in the army he came to Jesus and he said, my son is about to die. And Jesus said, all right, I will come to him. He said, uh-uh, I know I'm a Jew. And I said, I mean, a Roman soldier, sorry. And according to the custom of the Romans, when, when, when they call you, you must come physically present. And he said, but I am a man under authority. Jesus had him speaking kingdom language. And Jesus said, I'm interested, talk, I'm listening. He said, as a result of being under authority, I can tell one, go, without coming physically, and he will go. And tell another, come, and Jesus said, yeah, I have not found this revelation. You, 
a Roman soldier who taught you this? I said, then go. If you believe this. Brothers and sisters, your degree of relinquishing the hold of your own principles and adopting that of the kingdom is the degree to which you will conform to the true image of the Christ here and now. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. I told you we are one in Christ. Revelation and alignment have separated us into different cadres. One star different from another in glory. So what is possible for brother A may not be possible for brother B. Same grace, same faith, same Lord, same baptism, different responses to that which the Spirit has given. That's why he gave unto one five talents. He gave unto one two. If he gave five and five, then we'll know that it's a system that does not depend on our personal contribution. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many people who teach that we all got the same thing. No, sir. The Bible tells me he gave five. He gave two. Not according to his desire to bless them. According to their stewardship that they have proven in time past. Hallelujah. So, a time comes when Taiwo's tradition and principles limit the Holy Spirit. God takes us so far and when it's time to climb higher, that which she must lay down becomes too much. Can God use me? I'm a lady. All I want to do is just marry. That revelation is limiting God like the chains held the hands of Samson. Those two hands represented the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic. They were bound. And so nothing could happen. Because the foundation of the kingdom is built upon the apostles and the prophets. Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. But the Bible says when the spirit of God came, the first thing that happened was the chains melted. They became like flax. So that it could now release the apostolic and the prophetic. And he said, give me the jawbone of an ass. That's all I need. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. The highest praise to the king. He has taken all the glory. He has taken all the praise. He has taken all dominion. He has taken all the praise. You have made them yours. Highest praise to the king. For a very long time, when he called this patriarch called Abraham, he said, Abraham, come out of your father's house. There is something in your father's house that has the capacity to limit your prophetic destiny. I know it's your father's house, but come out of it. He said, out of all your kindred and go to a land, a, a city, a mountain, a place that I will show you. And if you obey me, I will make you blessed. In Genesis 12, it was not yet at work in his life. It was the prophecy of what would happen if he obeys. And the Bible says he left. And Lot, you see that? He was told to go alone. When he looked at Lot, he said, Lot, I've been with you or you come. Amazing how we carry many things in the name of pity and they are the things that open the door for darkness at the apex of our breakthrough. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. A time came, God said, told Abraham, look, let Lot go. What are you willing to let go for the excellency of this new culture. Listen, the Bible says, ask for the ancient part. In the kingdom, there is no invention. Your creativity is useless in the kingdom. You are not left to create anything at all. Are you getting what I'm saying? As far as working with God is concerned, your expertise and your creativity is taking advantage of his spirit to enforce the kingdom here. But as far as your work with God is concerned, your personal initiative is not necessary. 
the Bible says, ask for the ancient path. It didn't say create a road and tie it. Ask for it. There is already a road. Ask for it and walk. And you will find rest for your souls. In other words, refuse to ask for it and keep struggling. Following roads and come and find yourself in the same spot again. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? So God desires that regardless, see, this sister can never relate with Benga truly and sincerely if both of them do not adopt a higher kingdom that is greater than the, are you getting my point a time will come when their personal ideologies will clash why am i entering next week already i don't want to steal into the mystery of marriage and you will know why without the adoption of the culture of the kingdom there's no such thing as family peace union between man and a woman i love you i love you junk if you do not adopt this kingdom you will some people's head clash every day because their cultures are east and west what they say don't do in this culture is exactly what you need to do to be a good citizen. When I talk of culture, I don't just mean tradition. I mean your way of life. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point now? When I submit to the culture of the kingdom, if this is my wife and I want to stand here and she wants to stand here, we, both of us look and say, look, we are fighting here. Where does the king want? And the king said, two of you go back. We submit our personal wills to adopt that of the kingdom. This is the only basis where brothers can dwell together in unity. Are you getting my point now? Many of us are holding strong to devilish ideologies. Let me give you one. For instance, secular music and godly music. I'm hitting somebody now. Yes, I will say it again. Delete that junk from your phone. Don't let anybody let you know that Christians are... You know, we have these ugly mindsets about Christians that they are old school. They are the ones left behind. Just allow your foolishness to keep deceiving you. In the future, you will see how far we have gone. Hallelujah. A lot of people listen to all kinds of things. And we laugh and we are happy. Not knowing that music carries a spirit. Every song carries a spirit that writes upon your heart. Huh? When it writes upon your heart, it's like a spiritual slate. You begin to feed off that writing. That was the revelation that the devil was bringing to Jesus. Turn this stone into bread. There was something that was written on stone when Moses was on the mountain. He said, turn it to become bread. In other words, let that be your basis of living. And he said, no, man shall not live by this. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many things that are militating us. So when we talk about this transformation, this transformation, you must align yourself. Ah, I refuse to talk about marriage this night. Please, I want peace. Is, is till next week. Come next week prepared. Somebody can be married for 50 years and be married wrongly, working with an ideology. He can write a wrong book. And I was, I was sharing with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. We're just having some time together. Someone can be married for 50, 60 years. That's why when you see an elder who loves God and fears God and has a great home, listen to him. Because he has two advantages, experience and the spirit of God. There are many people writing all kinds of books about marriage. Their personal experience has become the template for them to initiate other people. So they say certain things are not possible based on the limitations they faced. Not knowing that if they only aligned some more to the kingdom, some things would have become possible. Hallelujah. Say, I submit to the government of heaven. So, Ibo, how far are you willing to go with God? As far as submitting yourself to pick up the ideologies of the king is concerned. I don't just mean your culture in terms of village, the way you are behaving. It's generally believed that Igbo people like money and they can do everything for it. Don't laugh. That's a culture. When you come to the kingdom, what says the spirit? 
to the church? What is the new ideology? Are you going to join that band of fruitless hustlers? I must make it. My share of the national cake. Although you are a Christian, you are born again, but it's limiting you. So you cannot honor the law of process. You cannot walk with the spirit accordingly. Hallelujah. Kogi people. Middle belters, all right, or northerners. There are strong ideologies that we have held as a territory. Are we willing to let some of these things go? When you are angry and you tell somebody, you will see. You now run and there's somebody stationed to deal with you and bring everything to justice. But the Bible says vengeance is mine. So you now have two kingdoms. Choose ye this day. I set before you. Hallelujah. It's believed that Yoruba people love education so much. And they can press for it. You need to have a degree, do this, go abroad, come back, do this and that. But to what degree are you willing to yield to the spirit so that you become a true spiritual man, not limited by intellect alone? Knowing that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but the Lord that showeth mercy. Said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. But he gives unto his beloved sleep. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who is this one? Um, the northern and Hausa man. What are you willing to lay down? It's generally believed that northerners are, are not serious with their wives. They are less as fair and careless. The man's job is just to give birth and then allow the woman go to farm and suffer and do that. Don't just forget. We're going to talk about that next week. Praise God. See, you see, the thing about marriage is that marriage is the greatest example between our relationship and Christ and this enforcing the kingdom. That's why I keep jumping there. If Benga, ah, uh -uh, come, my brother. If this guy is going to marry um, Taiwo, brothers and sisters, except another kingdom superimposes them, there is war. Everybody shout war. War, war that will not end. You know that Anglican statement, war without end. Because there will be clash of values. Many of us go to God in prayer and we approach God with certain mindsets that are limiting God. And the Bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying, can God? When you hear a word like in the name of Jesus, the hand of God will come upon your exams. Your mindset suddenly says, forget. If you read, you read. If you don't read, you will fail. Your mindset has become a limiting factor. You had the testimony of the, of the person who just checked the jam. I know many of you think it's a lie. If you are giving your way now, you say, let's verify this thing. Even that genotype thing, I'm not very sure. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. That's what you are saying. Say, forget Jare. Which doctor? Let's check. Let's go back. I must be there. Thomas was there. And he did the same thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? You see that all the disciples that Jesus walked with represented different ideologies. Peter was so impulsive. He was an extrovert. One moment, don't wash my feet. The other moment, bath me. Thomas, you know, all kinds of people. But all of them came into an alignment. Are you getting my point? Such that it didn't matter who entered any city. The Holy Ghost was comfortable to do the same thing. This is kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Say it upon your life. The kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. When the kingdom comes upon your finances, you stop running finances like heat and run. This nonsense people do around. You go to Abuja and see people running. Everybody's running. I, I was watching, I think it was NTA this afternoon and they were showing 
a good luck Jonathan I think they went for something campaign in equity state or this, and I saw all the people dancing on the road I said but do these people really love this country or is it that the hunger is too much they are muzzling the last ounce of energy to just dance it so that when the money comes they can negotiate after the the, the conference has the kingdom come over your finances or you are still running it the way you know go to school get a job hope to get a very great job wonderful but have you have you had the opinion of the king do you know there is an economic system in this kingdom that was there before you were born have you been interested in subscribing to it the bible said taste and see that the lord it didn't say wish and complain be serious how do you taste food you go and sit down in the restaurant you sit down for as long as the food is being prepared while he's preparing the table before you in the presence of your enemies you must sit down and then you will taste and testify and say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled even that of the word of life that's what we preach has the kingdom come upon your soul to change your character brothers and sisters this is very important there are many christians without character you can walk out immediately after the grace and give one sister a dirty slap because you are entering bus you see forget the fact that i sat down in front of oh, you try me i wound you i'm not one of these guys that like looking for women don't think i like you look at this this guy just spent three hours rolling on the floor and worshiping now he wants to give a lady a slap the next time somebody does like that, tell him, thy kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. When somebody carries his mouth and you are lambasting somebody, a brother just comes and says, I like your shoe. No, 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 no. I'm not this kind of people. Let me tell you something. I'm not this kind of boy. Just say, brother, just say, thy kingdom. You need the influence of the kingdom. Have you allowed the kingdom to come upon your academics? Do you not know that the spirit of God came upon a man called Daniel? And changed him, literally. He learned the art and the language of the Babylonians. And the Bible says he was distinguished. But every time they are talking, he said, me, I had one P, four C, I added Neko. It even allowed me and gave me two years to make it up. And you take that mindset. Have you allowed the kingdom to come? Please, is my message making sense tonight? In your body, you will keep dying of terminal disease until you allow the kingdom to come. So you are healed one moment from miracle service, but you now go back and this happens again. No, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. God is coming to you tonight and saying, How long are you willing to keep? remaining at this level you have a ministry god wants to take you to a high level but your limitation there is a message you had that has refused to allow the kingdom come and you keep wondering why is this thing not working and then out of frustration you just say anybody that is doing it is fake forget it all these people rejoice Rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. 
When it comes to you, he works upon your mind. When it comes to you, he changes your ideology. Don't tell me I'm from Edo State. Don't tell me I'm from Plateau State. Don't tell me I'm from Lagos. Are you willing to subscribe to the governing influence of the king? Three ways you enforce the kingdom. Very quickly, please sit down. Number one. Look at me. To enforce the kingdom, you must understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The principles that govern the operation of God's system. But it so happens that these mysteries are so many, our lifetime will not be able to... Follow me, please. I'm trying to construct the first... Um, the first way of enforcing the kingdom. The mysteries that govern the operation of the kingdom. Remember I showed you the creation before Genesis 1. Remember when we're talking about what? Laws of dominion or something. I told you there was a creation before Genesis 1. Is that true? And I showed you, isn't it? How that the foundations of the earth was created. That creation story was even more comprehensive than Genesis 1. That was when the foundations of the earth was laid upon pillars. Right? And I told you the sons of God is not a New Testament concept. It has been there. When the sons of God sang for joy. Are you getting my point now? So there are mysteries. The earth is not round. It's not suspended in the space. That's what science told us. But the Bible says it has pillars. The pillars extend to the sea. The Bible says God put doors at the borders of every river. That means every time we see flooding, a spirit manipulated a spiritual law because there are doors. Emmanuel. See, this is what you know that you won't be deceived. When people just say, water just came and washed the house, you say, uh-uh, come on now. I read in my Bible, there are doors. He put boundaries. But by the manipulation of spiritual laws, you can extend their boundaries. I told you, a man can be accurate but not be of God. Spiritual laws are ne not necessarily heavenly laws. In the kingdom, laws can be initiated by any spirit. Any demon spirit, human spirit. That's why a herbalist can concoct something for you and it will work. Because he's manipulating the laws of the spirit. But for kingdom citizens, that law must be initiated, sustained by the spirit of the Christ. That's what makes it of God. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can go to somebody by the riverside right now. The person will buff out all your problems. And truly, you'll find out that your problems left. Because he manipulated a law. But it so happens that if the spirit of God is not the one who initiated the process, there will still be a window left. Only the spirit of God knows the mystery to the final door of evil. Every other person will leave a signature that shows. So you can look at somebody's visitation of a man of God or of somebody and know that it's not God this person met. There was still a window. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying tonight? Oh, I wish I had time. This gives you spiritual intelligence. I remember um, where I did my secondary school, they had, they, they understood the art and science of holy rain. It would never rain on their market day. That was the source of their livelihood. They had enchanters who could look and know which law can keep the cloud suspended. And then in the night around two, no wind, no nothing. A heavy rain will now come. What's the compensation? There is something, of course. Remember the law of exchange. There is always a compensation. Don't let anybody fool you. You don't get nothing for nothing in the kingdom. That thing is not true. If you got it free, somebody paid for it. There is always an exchange. Always. So the next time you hear that there is flooding around, don't join ignorant people to just say, wow, the climate is changing. No. No. These spirits are invoking a spiritual formula that extends the borders of the rivers. But when the kingdom citizens show up, like Joshua, 
we have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom and we can look at the rod of Pharaoh and drop the rod of God and it will swallow it right in their presence and not increase weight. And we tell the sorcerers, explain the mystery of swallowing two snakes and not increasing in size. Where did they go to? You answer mysteries with mysteries. See, let me tell you, in the days that will come, it will be a clash of mantles. Men will talk very little. Something else will be speaking. That which God trained them with is what they will use. Hmm. That's what can make people hire you and keep you in a walk. They just say you are you are part of the board of advisors. You are not doing anything. Your presence is forcing mysteries to work in the favor of that company. And they say, oh God, you are part of the board of directors. For what? Oh, they will need us. Goodness, we are a city set on a hill. Trust me. Trust me. Bishop used to work with a man. I won't mention his name because people are listening. Bishop Stan used to work with a man. As graduates, he paid them 50000 but he paid the men of God that came to work with him 1.2. You know why? Because they have mastered the art and science of manipulating spiritual laws. Sorcerers and diviners in Bible days were not elected. They were the closest people to the king because if they leave him, you would die. They leave all the farmers and intelligent people to be killing themselves outside. And those who understand the art and science of controlling this realm. Hmm. And Job said, has thou commanded thy mourning? How do you command your mourning? Brothers and sisters, when you know what you can know, it will... Ay. Grant us grace. This is what the patriarchs knew that made them sons of God. Twelve men in the Old Testament. It has always been twelve. It's the system of God's government. Twelve men who manifested bodily the summation of mysteries that made them afraid. And Elijah the Tishbite showed up from wherever nobody knows. And how he got to the mountain, the Bible doesn't tell us. You think that man will just keep climbing the mountain like that? We just know he sat down at the top of the mountain. And the armies came with their spears. He said, really? They've trained you in the art of war. Those guys were so excellent. They could, they could, diverge, they could diverge arrows with slings. They were so accurate. But Elijah said, I don't have time for this business. Let fire come from heaven the disciples saw jesus do a lot of mystery that's why one day they said jesus let's come out fire jesus didn't say you cannot do it he said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words i'm showing you other mysteries you see what jesus kept teaching them he didn't finish the lecture that's why after resurrection he kept them for 50 days 40 days and he was teaching them the matters of the kingdom after that he said goodbye i can leave you now goodness and we, one man called Bad Jesus meandered. Have you heard the story? Bad what? Bad Jesus. Paul said, ah! In Acts chapter 16, I think it was 16 or 19, when they saw a lady with the spirit of divination bringing a lot of money to all their people by giving people word of knowledge. So you see that it worked, right? For whatever reason, a spirit entered that lady and trained her in the art of interpreting spiritual things. When Paul looked, Paul could not see, but he used another mystery that opened his eyes. And he said, uh-uh, this is not of God. May God make strong men out of us. Not just by impartation, but by knowledge. You will walk everywhere and read the handwritings on the wall. That what men are not seeing, you will see. You will enter your house and somebody will say, I have stomach ache. And you say, no, I need to fast. This is not about stomach ache. I have connected the dots. This is is the dart of evil and you come out after 24 hours and say it's well ah, ah. somebody just says i have another stomach if you say it's well i know what i saw three days later the family opens up to unspeakable breakthrough you think they want you to come back home there are some of you they don't want you to come back home because you are you are adding to the the mysteries you are not solving it why is it that when you come back home things finish unusually 
Whereas the prophet showed up and said, surely the, the oil will not finish. This and that will not finish. We're going to pray shortly. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is on the strength of the mysteries of the kingdom that you understand. He said it has been given unto you to know. See, when Adam was created, some things were told Adam that Eve did not know. That's why God held Adam responsible. Before Eve showed up, some informations were given Adam. For instance, part of the things that were taught, I believe with all my heart, was God gave him a story of the creation. God told him a lot of things. He knew that water was responsible for abundance. I hope you know. We've shared it here, right? That the things that came out, they came out from the water. The Bible tells us the birds of the air, the fish, they all came out from the water. This is another mystery. That's why the Bible says there are three that bear witness in heaven. The spirit, the word, and what? No, it can't be water in heaven. But it said in the earth realm, there are three that bear witness. So the spirit bears witness both in heaven and in the earth. The common factor, both in heaven and in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And I told you this represents three dispensations of the manifestation of the church, right? The, the dispensation of the spirit was the charismatic age from the Azusa street and all of that. So people laid emphasis on the manifestation and the workings of the spirit. And then the word of faith started coming. That's the dimension of the water. They started teaching people accurately the things of the word. And before Christ comes the manifestation of the blood. Not as a teaching, as a lifestyle. Because the blood represents the very life of God. That's what will open the gates. Hmm. So gates that were shut will be opened. Because of certain mysteries. Brothers and sisters. The kingdom of God. Seeks to find expression in your life. But because there are so many mysteries for us to learn. We can only touch so much. Listen to me. There are so many. It will take us a lifetime. So the Holy Spirit identified it as a predicament in us. And he said. There is another mystery. That will help you connect to principles that you do not know. But they will work for you. And then the Bible starts saying, for we know not how to pray. He said, this is the limitation. Are you hearing me now? Follow me, please. He said, no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. So no man knows the heart of God save the spirit of God. And then he begins to communicate a limitation that every believer, no matter how strong, we have that limitation. What's the limitation? We know not what to pray for as we ought to. That means we don't know how to use the correct spiritual laws to the accuracy that will give us all the results that we need. But there was a technology that was kept to help our inadequacy. He said, but the spirit itself make it what? This is a mystery. Make it intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you begin to pray, this mystery was not taught Satan. This is what confuses demons. I hope you know Satan, Lucifer. I told us already, Lucifer was what? Light bearer. He was the custodian of the revelations. He thought he saw everything about God. He did not know that there were other mysteries that were hidden. So he deceived the one third of the angels. He said, guys, just follow me. I can tell you, I have every knowledge of God in my hands. I can even be God right now and it will not change the system of heaven. And God said, really? There was war in heaven. God didn't even stand up from his throne. It was Michael. Michael fought him. So when he came down, he came down, he became lower than the cherubs and all of that. Then, that's why he looked for Adam. I told you the first person who was in the Garden of Eden was who? Lucifer, not Adam. Lucifer was the first person in the Garden of Eden. He was driven out. That's why when Adam came, it got him angry. You see what Satan has with men. So when he collected the Adamic authority, at that point, he became greater than all the angels. Second to only the Trinity. That was why when Archangel Michael came and they were fighting over the body of Moses. Are you, are you seeing it now? Because at that point he was higher than him. He could not use that strength again. So he invoked a higher power. The Lord rebuke you.
Hold on. Are you, are you getting my point now? Mm. When Jesus was born, because Satan was working with Adamic authority, even Jesus ran away for his life. Otherwise, Satan would have killed him. When Satan took Jesus to the mountain, Jesus did not say, Satan, go away. No, he followed him. And Satan said, all these glories. What mountain did they climb that they saw the glories of the world all at once? Is that not a mystery? Where do you stand in the earth that you see all the glories? But he showed him at once. He said, it has been given to me. Ah, yeah. And so he said, let me give you the shortcut. Why go and die and do all of this nonsense? Because he knew that there is coming another law. He had seen water. It was the water that parted the Red Sea and brought separation between Egypt and Israel. It was the adumbration of baptism. But he saw an adumbration of the blood of the Lamb in Egypt. And because he knows that prophetic things must have a physical explanation, he started following anything that looks like blood. So he said, Jesus, this one that you have come now, why just bow down to me and collect this thing? Jesus said, no problem. I will collect it anyway. So when he met with it in hell, he said, I've come to collect it now. See? See, Jesus defeated Satan without the help of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit had left him. He was in hell. Are you getting me? That was why after the third day, the same spirit that raised him back. That means he came back on the third day, raised by the spirit of God. And when Satan, Jesus collected the keys, stripped Satan of it. That's why in Revelation he said, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He's got it back. That's what he gave us in redemption. Seven blessings. What is the lamb who was slain to receive? He has received unto us blessings, riches, those seven things. He gave it to us. He said, as my father has sent me, I send you with it. But he said, hold on. Don't just run foolishly. The Holy Ghost. There are many things I want to tell you, but you cannot bear them now. They will be needed for you to be effective. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come? He will guide you. He will teach you the other part of the lessons. Thy kingdom come. So when you begin to pray, that's the first way of enforcing the kingdom. As I begin to pray in the spirit, there are all kinds of codes and mysteries being manipulated in the spirit for my favor. So you can pray. Listen, I shared a revelation with Pastor Alpha and his wife this afternoon. When you pray, I hope you know you are sowing seeds. Is that true? And the Bible says, to every seed, God can change the body and give it another body. So I can be praying and all of a sudden it will manifest in my finances. God has given it another body. I can pray in tongues and it will manifest in my health. Are you getting me? God can give seeds another body. Are you seeing why it's important to pray in the spirit? For we have a limitation. We know not what we should pray for. Brothers and sisters, hear me here. If you are not baptized with the Holy Ghost, with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, you need to have a meeting with the prayer band people. Hallelujah. Fluent tongues. It's your lifeline out of this nonsense. This assault of the devil. They will manipulate your life with spiritual principles. I know a lot of people have thought that everything is okay once you are born again. Wait on. See, the laws of the spirit are not the laws of the Old Testament. They predate creation. Hallelujah. It was that same law that brought water for Hagar in the desert. She looked around and there was no water. And when the angel appeared, he opened her eyes. And there was water flowing. That means what you do not see does not mean it's not there. Something can happen in the spirit and make it manifest. There was water. She could not drink because she could not see it. What did the angel do to her eyes? The same thing Elisha did to his servant. Hallelujah. Prayer. Number two. You enforce the kingdom. You enforce 
the kingdom in the place of deep worship. Very few people understand worship. Please, if you are here and you've not cultivated the life of worship, you can meet the worship team members after the service and say, how do I cultivate a life of worship? Not an event of cult of worship that you hold might. A life of worship. Just like we did. That's why when we came, the Holy Ghost allowed us to bask in that presence. When that thing happens, the presence of God can enforce the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. One more. You enforce the kingdom by the ministry of the word. Both studying it and speaking it. Not just blind religious speaking. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. That kind of speaking that doesn't carry any weight. But that you say, I am blessed. Out of a depth of conviction, you enforce the kingdom. Son of man, what seest thou? Ezekiel 37. Or Ezekiel 37. Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. He said, enforce it. I prophesied as I was commanded. And the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Wish so. That means let the healed of the Lord say what? Let the prosperous of the Lord do what? So you say so. Comes from the word homologio. Repeat after the person you just had. And so you speak. My life is blessed. I'm a man of character. I'm a woman of character. You are enforcing the kingdom. I have no business with sickness. Hallelujah. My path is as a shining light. Even when you see things that contradict your faith, you know that there is a reality higher than what you have seen. And you enforce it with your words. We are going to pray. I have to stop here. Were you blessed tonight? Did you get something? We are going to pray. In a few minutes we are going to pray. We will just take two or three minutes and pray very generously in tongues. Hallelujah. After that, we'll make decrees and then we'll round up the service. Please rise up on your feet, everyone. Please hold hands together, everyone, if you can, and begin to pray in tongues. Activate the operation of mysteries. Zombran Jebaladababash Kapra Baba Basata Baladaba The Pretekate Baba 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 Soto Protoko Baladaba Pray brothers and sisters Now you understand That praying in tongues helps you To enforce the kingdom The culture The influence Repakata Preketetete Baba Baba Change your life into the Garden of Eden. Change your wilderness into the Garden of Eden. It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Change your destiny. Change your life. Give the Holy Ghost an opportunity to move your life forward. Repoto pres ke bondo sekete ekete lekete rekoto pros ke ba 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 ba. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel confused in your life, pray in tongues. Your situation is at the mercy 
of mysteries being activated there is what can be activated that suddenly makes everything possible gravity works but there is another law called the law of aerodynamics there is a principle that can compel gravity to give way hallelujah hallelujah now please leave yourselves the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so in the next two minutes i want you to open your mouth prophesy over your life and your destiny come on now speak the word of god i'm the blessed of the lord my body aligns to spiritual things my mind aligns to spiritual things in the name of the lord jesus my eyes are open to see and understand the mysteries of the spirit grace and peace is multiplied unto me by knowledge grace and peace prophesy koinonia grace and peace grace and peace is multiplied don't keep quiet don't keep quiet when you keep quiet you stop the kingdom from being enforced in your life i am blessed i'm fruitful all the way in the name of the lord jesus the lines are falling for me in pleasant places i have a goodly heritage the favor of the lord compasses me as with a shield the earth yields its increase for me i'm blessed with the oil of gladness above my fellow my eyes are open open your mouth and pray if your neighbor is not praying tell the person speak death and life are in the power of the tongue death and life are in the power of the tongue i'm rising higher and higher by the power of the holy ghost higher and higher i break limits i'm prosperous i'm anointed in ever increasing dimensions the hand of god is upon me the favor of god is upon me i belong to a kingdom of power my words carry power i am a blessing everywhere i go the hand of god is upon me the favor of god is upon my life i'm strengthening my inner man i'm a man of power i'm a man of wisdom the wisdom of the spirit is at work in me i hear the voice of the spirit telling me this is the way walk ye in it and i find rest for my soul in the name of jesus christ every mountain becomes a plain ground before me in the name of jesus christ the lord makes a way for me where there seems to be no way where men say there is a casting down my testimony is that there is a lifting up there's no sickness in my body because i dwell in zion and no inhabitant of zion shall say i am sick the spirit that raised christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body and it quickens my mortal body my mind is renewed my body is mortified never an instrument of unrighteousness it has been given unto me to know the mysteries of the kingdom i understand the mysteries of dominion i have ears that hear i have eyes that see hallelujah hallelujah two prayer points and we'll round up hallelujah number one you're going to say lord everything in my life that contends with the culture of the kingdom tonight let your kingdom come let your kingdom come every mindset keeping me in poverty every mindset making me a failure every mindset destroying the anointing in my life 
tonight thy kingdom come pray your kingdom come upon my mind your kingdom come upon my finances your kingdom come upon my ideologies I lay down mindsets African mindsets cultural mindsets diabolic mindsets anti-craft anti-christ mindsets mindsets that fight the workings of the spirit mindsets that fight new levels of the anointing lay it down tonight and pray there is a higher realm in the spirit there is a level of excellence there is a level of quintessence there is a level of perfection pray mindsets we got from churches and denominations mindsets we got from our upbringing mindsets we got from our territories and traditions lord every mindset that is a stronghold limiting the operation of the spirit in my life tonight i cast down imaginations and every yatar every imagination and high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ hallelujah listen the bible says and it came to pass watch this as they this is the dynamics listen i want to explain something powerful here as they they were that means their being cleansed was tied to their going as they they were this sign shall not go before if you prove god sent you start moving and he said the signs the signs will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came look at me there are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church do you know that there are people that when they come when hands are about to be laid on them they say don't lay hands on me just speak you are a sick patient the doctor said turn for injection you say i don't like injection walk out of the hospital as simple as that when there's a way the sickness will press you that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow you say just give me when you still have options you are not yet pushed to the wall look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the wall that you must react are you getting my point verse 7 are we there john what did i say john 9 not 19 9. listen look up please let me just tell the story quickly remember the man who was born blind the bible says jesus spat on the floor correct and he started making clay i can imagine well the man could not see him now watch this Hiya, i love jesus jesus inspires me i'm telling you he said unto him to who the blind man jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand he spoke to the blind man he said oh god go wash in the pool of silo which by interpretation is sent and the bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned see how will jesus speak to a blind man oh yeah i've done my own part if you like sit down here for one week if you are interested go and watch remember what the prophet told naman he said go to jordan and bath 
while he was giving all those confessions i will not go i will go i will not go he said continue if you want to manifest faith carry two of your legs march to jordan he was saying are there no other river this is many people think it just stops at talking 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 Naaman was talking rapping standing in front of elijah's he didn't even come out he said tell him go and wash and do it seven times he went there it was a very muddy water hallelujah bath the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the holy ghost would say two more times for my spirit to come in listen the bible says the moment he entered the seventh time he just came out and he saw his skin that means the holy ghost was waiting anxiously you do your part you do your part and see the power of the highest you do your part and see that cancer melt you do your part and see that curse broken in your family hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the holy ghost was moving peter get this man to take a step in every area of life listen there is a role you have to play are you getting me there's no time i would have shown you how that for every area of your life when the word came in samaria by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of god was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change till the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen 
there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marry in june how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find a paper but god said am i too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part i'm telling you in an inexplainable way god is committed and tonight i want you to know that your part is to have come see i tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you say i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things stories tonight hallelujah 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 please listen to me i tell you the truth i came here tonight with a very unusual unction i know the things that i've been the head of department prayer band he even sensed it i remember he sent me a text hallelujah when the holy ghost is in a place nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell hallelujah inside and outside no matter how far you are make sure tonight as you hear the word listen i don't know the issue that you came here with i can only communicate the few 
because of time constraint and because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen listen as i begin to rebuke sicknesses we're going to be very fast we don't have time for a lot of things hallelujah god has showed me that there will be dramatic dramatic instant healings dramatic instant healings now listen please when we begin to pray i don't know if we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do make sure remember the teaching you must take action you must take action that action look at what our mommy shared remember the the, the testimony our mommy shared do you know that we brought i sent that they should bring a seat for her what? she refused as a proof to the devil are you getting my point that that i may be old but i'm well Are you ready to drop those chains now there is no need please hear me there is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation for there is a name there are families represented here tonight tonight you will pass the red sea and you will part with egypt forever There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Higher. It's time for people's lives to change. Break every chain. Break every, Break every chain. Break every chain. Hallelujah. There are families under bondages yokes there are many of us who have come under spells it's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession Hallelujah. I tell you, if you see what the Lord is showing me in the spirit, goodness, the devil is in trouble this night. Lift your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. Please lift your hands inside and outside. hallelujah hear me wherever you are the power of god is going to begin to move across the crowd and everywhere you are there is a name tonight that is above every demon every yoke every spell and at the mention of that name devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah 
at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one two three I call spirits, I call devils, devils, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, now, come out, go cross the Porsche, outside, outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out, bring them out, the fire is falling outside. Lift up your head. Oh, ye dead. I command spirit. Devil. Let those people go now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Hey! Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every curse, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, falling outside, every spell, hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands. The first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, there will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hush. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. Goodness. There are people here. Listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Her praise Kabbalah. Out. Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Capren de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second in Terekaba. Shut up, 
Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus. Break everything out of her now. Now. Come out of her right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Many of you don't know why. Listen. Hear me. Please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch those. No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will whip out. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. These are the spirit. That's why you try and try. You keep doing. This is what has stopped the admission of others. This is what has stopped the marriage of others. This is what has killed the destiny of many people. But tonight, you will part ways with it forever. Now I want to pray. I see a lot of many of you will be surprised what will happen now. Hallelujah. There are so many people that are tormented in their dreams. Listen to me. You can't have a sound sleep. But you see people come. Animals chasing you. All kinds of devilish demonic things. Snakes. Some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people. Whether a man, whether a woman. When you are about to go for a job interview. These things happen to you and that's the end of it. It doesn't matter what happens tonight. There will be a separation once and for all. Lift up your hands again. Please lift up your hands. Let's hurry up. Whether they are causes, whether they are yokes, whether they are manifestations of spirit husband, spirit wife, wherever that devil is, 
as you shout Jesus I see fire fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral causes go 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 serpents scorpions marine spirits out 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 by the fire of the holy ghost for all these people outside I'm speaking to the spirits now at the count of three the fire of God burns you out of these people every spirit hear my voice I speak from the realm of the spirit right now the fire of the Holy Ghost one Two, <laughs> You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. 
peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling, falling. Yeah. I hear the chains. I hear the chains. Oh, she back at the I hear the chains. Zeko pedi I hear the chains. Now listen, listen. Let me explain this. We always do. But for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, listen, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. You literally feel like an object, like a snake, moving around, especially when you're on your bed. Who is that person? The Lord is revealing to me. Please, quickly, let's save time. Once I mention your case, just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside, let's just hurry up very quickly. We don't have time. Goodness, help us, Lord. The devil is in trouble tonight. <laughs> hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please For about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now even up to now even now as you are talking Watch it disappear now. Watch it disappear. You are an elderly man. You get my point. So you will not come and be lying when it's not done. But you watch and see what the power of God will do. Because they scanned it medically. Goodness, please let me do something quickly. I see this lady wearing a crown. 
Let it go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on her. Anybody, lay your hands. Thank you, Jesus. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. All our workers are anointed. It doesn't matter who lays hands on them. Out! An anointed hand is upon you and you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. The Lord Jesus brings you healing. Complete healing. Thank you, Jesus. I want to rebuke that spirit right now. That devil of darkness. Let him go right now. In the name of Jesus. Wow, something is happening to you. You feel something happening to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Cabro That devil, go! Now in the name of Jesus. Can you walk now? Just shake your leg. You feel pain? Only here. Where? Right here. All right, lay your hands. Lay your hands. Lay your own hands there. The power of God is going through you, that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? Do you feel any pain there? It's going. It's going, right? It's going, right? Look at him smiling. It's going, right? Now, check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Go, will go. Everything will be. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead. Bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down. Up and down. Exercise. Yes. And watch the pain leave. Any pain. Any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there. It's going. It's going. Where? Where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking, checking. And they tell you, we don't know what is wrong. Save yourself headache. Just come for prayers quick. Because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of Satan. It's exactly three years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In Jesus' name. Now, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. 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 When everything, when everything disappears, look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow, look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That would be the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. Go! No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. Don't. Wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because he's have, sometimes you sit, 
do you have any feeling maybe you are not yourself you have those yes sir you have those kind of feelings sometimes you feel as if you don't even it's like you don't know yes this is madness this thing would have come upon you last year it was because of the hand of god and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely god is touching someone there bring the lady let hope rise i command that madness go right now i see look at what is happening to him look at look at this look at this how can somebody just start scratching his head because i said go this is madness the devil wanted to put up on him. go 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 out of him right now take your devilish madness back to hell Hallelujah. What's she here for? Let her your neck. Now, all of you, lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. must go now i'm seeing an altar burning i'm seeing a shrine on fire i'm seeing a shrine on fire this is what is happening to this girl i'm seeing a shrine a shrine catching fire every shrine every devil shrine where your name and that of your family member has been taken to it catches fire now it catches fire now hallelujah goodness god is going to do a fantastic miracle outside i'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside god is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth please check it if you confirm you are the one don't tell us lies here please confirm it and come out god is god is filling holes holes literally literally to close up hallelujah now ladies god wants to do a number of things irregular menstruation god is going to heal a lot of these things and then lump lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region hallelujah lift your hands everybody i want to pray remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now now, now, long go in the name of Jesus. Now begin to check yourself. Begin to check yourself. Hallelujah. Now let's do this quickly. Every every other person, if you came here specifically for a healing miracle, please come out and line up here. Or if you brought somebody, please just line up all just protocol help us arrange them please please be very orderly no fighting let's hurry up while that is happening how many of you have not written your prayer requests please write it quickly quickly write it quickly and let's have it you came
came specifically whether within Zaria or outside Zaria you came specifically for healing hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situation you are the joy of the whole
affects him anyway. okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God out his out. Faith out is Jesus out. Christ. I see him die. This is what I see. He died and he rose and he gave me victory.
Legs, goodness. Since when? Ten years. Ten years. How do? Are you a witness? Is you that brought? What? What? How do? How does it shift? She will fall and can. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Nikab, I speak to you. By the power of the holy spirit no shifting for you again from today i bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out now i command your ligaments i command everything like ezekiel 37 to be back walk what do you feel what do you feel look at come up her ligaments for 10 years she she falls down by herself do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before look at this look at this her kneecap used to shift her kneecap used to shift you are come 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 up who are you to her? who are you to her a family friend you are a what family friend you know her you know that this is true sister look at look at the girl crying could she do this before she couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the, you see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. He died and rose. Jesus died. Then he said, The what? The initiated him. They initiated him. Into what? They gave him food. Then you'll be seen spiritual something. You you be seeing spiritual something that you if he tell you you'll be surprised oh they initiated him that devil is a liar bring him up uh -uh, don't 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 please don't cry hmm. 
She's your daughter. It's okay. See, mommy, look, let me tell you. Including you, God will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? carry him go they say they should carry him that they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school and me i want him to be there you look at this hallelujah telling them that this water is blood if they are playing you'll be telling them that see this thing see this thing will be full function and mommy listen it's not the fault of the boy this is this is demonic are you getting my point this is why Jesus brought you here today. In the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. You should still. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. It was 11 in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that I, even I myself have seen a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not turn back to look at me. Then the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkness dwells in English. Say after me, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. From today. From today. I set myself free. I set myself by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. From any covenant. From any covenant. And any initiation. Any initiation. From today. Yes. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Satan. Satan. Pack your load. Back your load and go. And go. I have no business. I have no business with you. With you. I declare. I declare that I am for Jesus. I will. Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out. This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's your, it's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing as I'm praying for him? It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's the, as he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. And the same way you have been set free i set that lady free now leave her alone no no no. i'm not talking to you people i'm speaking to the spirit go now how can it know that i'm talking am i not talking to everybody here
Madam, it's okay. I need to set you free. Huh? I'm seeing your head tied with a snake. You see snakes now? Even snake, even there. Hold on. Do you know me, madam? Have I ever seen you? How did I know that snake is tying you? This is your own because we need to pray for you too. Oh, that girl. What's the problem? Leave her. Ah, uh -uh, is that why you're holding her? Don't leave her alone. Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. Don't worry, don't worry. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. It's all right mommy you are free you and your family salvation comes to you this night in jesus name. she's okay she's free please while this is happening start passing your prayer request inside outside please quickly start passing your prayer request if you've not written it write it when we are prophesying you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect or if you have whatever point of contact no problem it's scriptural He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his kid. See another episode here. What? He will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother. He will pick a knife that he wants to kill him. My brother, how are you? Well done. You love Jesus? You Wait now. He's not the one. Look at me. Look at me. We give people here, among other things, spiritual intelligence. You understand? No man can just get up. Please, while you're listening, be passing your prayer request. God answers prayers in miraculous ways here. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So, he's, he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. You'll be delivered right now, alright? He carried knife to kill who? His elder brother. Why? Just like that, I was in school, they called me. They had to lock him. They released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to
yes, yes. And he has a plan. How old is he? Go, go, go. Eh? How old? Nine years. And his SS. And we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go! In the name of Jesus. As you're gathering the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much. and help me please some of you can see move please bishop let's so that we'll tidy it up okay, let's, let's, don't worry it's healing rain is pouring I hear the rain and I'm not ashamed not afraid and I'm not afraid out
Submit your prayer request. It will go now. Look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just look at me. Of Jesus, go, 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 go. Say, I believe go. in miracles. Go, go, go. And the Children, eh? this girl is your children. What's the problem? No problem. No problem. We don't have all. The, she has an incision. They did an incision for her. Native doctor. And don't worry, please. We don't have all the time for this. Whatever it is, Jesus is Lord. In Jesus' name. Go. Let her go. Christ. I believe in you. Sweet Jesus. Son of God. I believe in Everybody help me say. Out of him now. Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i'd like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Some of the requests look impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. For we are celebrating the miracles, the successes in the name of Jesus. None will go unanswered in the name of Jesus. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, we present this request in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Please stand up everybody inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them. The Bible says, believe the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. As I speak over your life, I want you to believe. Please, please, believe and return with mighty testimonies. We don't have all the time to do the things we want to do. But we want to challenge thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Listen, and the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called them, that's what they became whatsoever adam called them the bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them and he told job has thou commanded thy morning we're about to speak prophecy is very powerful brothers and sisters this is the moment where everyone can participate including your loved ones who are not here hallelujah Every terminal disease in this place, everything called terminal disease, go for Tabareka. Everything called terminal disease, in the name that is above all names, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that sickness leaves your body now. Leaves your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Lift your body now. Every SS and AS genotype right now. The Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place. My God, let SS and AS change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. Change to AA now. With medical proof. Change to AA now. Every HIV in this place. Anyone with any deadly virus. HIV. Cancer. Diabetes. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. Be healed now. With medical proofs, be healed now. I command your spirit responsible. Go, go in the name of Jesus. Everything that has tied your progress, everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name. I lose you from it now. I lose you from it now. I lose you from those chains now. Now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, both for you and your loved ones, hey, Prateka, ba, 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 ba. we release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. 
I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here things you should have accomplished something has pulled you down there are levels you would have been right now i command right now according to the anointing of the spirit upon my life let there be acceleration now acceleration now acceleration now i challenge the powers that hold you down let them go I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the acts of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married it's like they are not married there are others that should marry and there are powers that have said you will not get married this night by the fire of the holy ghost i open up marital doors i open up marital doors God protect the day. i open up marital doors i open up marital doors Thank you, Jesus. I pray everything responsible for inexplainable academic failure. You are doing your best. You write exams. The result comes out and you know it's not your own. I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own, I take it out of your life whatever result that is not your own i take it out in the name of jesus i command corrections i command adjustments in the name of jesus for those who have been victimized by any lecturer you are supposed to get a they gave you E. I command, let there be a restoration. That restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low spam count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. Hallelujah. All the ladies here that are going to every devil called painful menstruation or irregular menstruation i don't want to know what the name is i don't care how long it has been from this night i challenge the altars responsible be free be free be free hallelujah i pray for your finances in the name that is above all names in 2014 we prophesy let doors beyond your imagination we open them now now financial doors financial opportunities every yoke every curse every spell 
that brings poverty. That's why you are giving. I cross it now. Hallelujah. I pray every dead spiritual life in this place. There are some of you, you came here as a matter of life and death. I command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as I speak I fire it back in the name of Jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now let the spirit of revelation come upon you now come upon you now that anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life many of you don't understand i want to activate something in your life i pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason i pray as surely as the lord god of israel lives, may that man to hit you now may it come upon your life I pray for your family members whatever the devil said they will not get this year whatever project building project house project whatever has tied your family I prophesy Lord God of heaven let there be a rain of testimony rain of testimony whatever you have lost and whatever your family members have lost some of you have lost relationships some of you opportunities let there be a restoration now a restoration now hallelujah and i pray that that presence of god that goes with a man i pray for every ministry represented here every ministry that is represented here i command begin to move in strange levels of unction strange levels of wisdom strange levels of revelation I release angelic encounters I release prophetic encounters in the name of Jesus now lift your hands I want to activate the gift of the spirit we have a few minutes very very few but lift your hands hallelujah i'm just going to prophesy many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts there are some of you that need activation right now in the name of jesus take it now take it now take it now take it 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 Take it, give the prophecy. Take it, give the healing. Take it, inside and outside. Receive it, healing anointing, miracle working anointing, prophetic anointing, apostolic anointing, entrepreneurial anointing. Take it, take it, leadership mantle. Take it. Prophetic revelation. Take it. Take it. I command your eyes to be open. May you see what others don't see. Anyone marked for death in this place? Anyone marked? in the spirit realm for death in the name of the lord jesus i cause that spirit now 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 spirit of death go 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 go
May you return next week with dramatic testimonies. Whatever you wrote here as your prayer request, I prophesy according to the anointing in the name of Jesus. May your hand receive it. May you walk in it. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Keep standing. I'm going to make an altar call right now. Inside and outside. There are many people that need the Lord Jesus Christ. You have seen the works of the kingdom. Right now, I want to give you an opportunity. There may be a number of you who have never made a decision for Jesus. Especially many of you outside. Some of you were invited for the first time. There are some of you who have given your heart to the Lord. But for some reason, you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to call you back home. No one condemns you. But we are giving you an opportunity. I'm going to count one to five. No matter how far you are. Please don't let anybody stop you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. One, start running now. Please leave your seat and come out. Two, outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Find your way to the front. No matter how far. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God bless you. They are coming. God bless you. They are coming. God bless you. They are coming. Coin only appreciate them. They are coming. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. This is the beginning of a great journey. Young and old. Everyone, you are invited. You are most welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you very much for this bold decision. God bless you as you come. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Even if you are still outside as God is speaking to you, come. Don't let anybody um, stop you from receiving this great blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is an experience that you will never recover from. Hallelujah. The Lord desires to use you. He desires to make a mighty tool out of you. And that you spend eternity with him. I'd like you to lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is a real experience. You are talking to a real person. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I confess that I cannot help myself. Tonight, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I receive remission right now. I invite Jesus to come into my heart be the Lord of my life. Save me. Cleanse me. Wash me. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Do wonders through my life. From today, I make progress never to return to my past. I'm free of every guilt. I'm free of every condemnation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this once. Every wicked spirit that keeps them in sin, I curse it now. I declare that this decision they have made will be authentic. Make mighty men and women out of them. I curse every spirit, every foul devil that is responsible for keeping you in any state of life you do not want. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I declare that from today, you are making spiritual progress. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Congratulations. Welcome to the biggest family. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the gentlemen waving their hands to you. They'll welcome you and they'll give you some instructions. God bless you in the name of Jesus.